Hey everyone, what is up? Hope you guys are doing well today. We are going to be playing some Crestorio 2 Space Exploration. And in this episode, we are going to be working towards, finally, um, probably doing some astronomic science packs. Um, uh, we could do energy science packs uh, to start off our uh, grids up in space. But I think that the astronomic science packs are a little bit easier. So that is what I am going to be going for. Um, that being said, maybe I should double check the... Uh, the science tech to see what actually is more useful. Um, you know, we can continue doing rocket cargo safety and survivability and things like that, um, which probably is going to be more useful to us anyways. Um, and we also, with this, uh, can be working towards, uh, well, this would be super useful, uh, being able to do low densities with arrow frames and get two out of it because uh, low densities are super expensive as it is. Um, but this is kind of what I want to work towards is a uh, spaceship. Um, these will make uh, going between planets for myself uh, much easier. And um, we only need the Astronomic Science 3 packs in order to do this. Um, and it doesn't look too complicated to get there either. We just need to do a handful of researches with um, these, well, I guess it's three pack, uh, this three. Three, I, I said two, because it has like two ribbons on it, but, um, so we just need to do a handful of researches to get there. Um, radio telescopes, gamma ray, the astronomic three, obviously you have to make them all then, um, but that'd be super cool to work towards. Obviously though, um, I think I'm gonna kind of split up the work and kind of do like, um, what I'm planning on doing here is doing astronomic one and then resetting up energy one and then doing material one and biological one and then doing level twos on all of them and so on and so forth until we get through all four levels. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, in order to do that, we of course need to have a cargo rocket silo um, up in outer space that we are going to be setting up. And before we get there, how exactly do I want to do this? Um, so first of all, first off is we need to set up uh, another rocket silo, I believe. And uh, geez, where the question then is where on earth <laughs> or on novice, I should say, where on novice um, should we be setting up more rocket silos? Because um, it is incredibly congested in here. Um, obviously like there's lots of uh, empty space but I don't want to use up all of the empty space. I mean, I suppose, could you fit a, another rocket silo in here? Maybe. Should you though? I don't think so. <laughs> um, that's just like one of these things, man, where there's, there's so many questions in the later game of space exploration of like, should you do something? Obviously you can do it, but should you do it? Uh, we could even set one up over here, which would be kind of cool, like right next to the tracks and stuff. Um, only issue would be getting the uh, liquid rocket fuel out there, but I think we could do that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a little bit uh, further tra travel time for bots, but, um, you know, our other options are, you know, landfilling a bunch of stuff over here and piping some liquid rocket fuel over, which uh, probably is where we're, we'll go from now on. Uh, we'll landfill this area here. Um, but I think that we'll, we'll we'll do the first rocket silo down here for sure. Um, okay, so let's set this up. It's gonna be, which one is this? It's gonna be very similar to this one. Hmm, okay, we're just gonna copy this. Uh, we are, yeah, we'll, we'll include everything. However, um, one, as soon as I paste it down, okay, yeah, it fits in here pretty nicely actually. Um, However, as soon as I paste it down, I'm going to get rid of that because um, we don't want this. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I was going to say we don't want the requester warehouse to fill up, but we don't have requester warehouses. We have to make it. So actually, as soon as it gets placed, um, we're going to change this channel because we don't want this to fill up with weird things. So this one is going to be astronomic science, astronomic science. <clears throat> And let's see, we need one of these out here. Let's do that right here. 
Uh, we can, of course, get rid of this belt that was uh, just kind of part of the blueprint accidentally. Um, and let's see, then we can power it up and we can craft, uh, oh, one of these right there. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, so this should be getting um, cargo rocket sections, obviously space capsule. Uh, we do need to figure out uh, this situation with um, the liquid rocket fuel. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, let's see here. Hello. Um, all right, this is going to be able to be run up right through here. Does that reach? Yeah, it does. Wow. I always forget how long these uh, pipes can be. It's pretty crazy. Okay. And then we'll just do that. There we go. All right. And I think that this rocket should be set to novice orbit. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, we are going to say... We're gonna switch this to none for the moment. Um, obviously, we're gonna set up a platform up in space that we're gonna send it to, um, but for the moment, that is gonna be none. Um, cool. And obviously, once we go up to space, we will uh, deal with um, all the signaling and stuff like that, but this is already pretty much ready for uh, its signaling, and let me just paste that down, there we go. Um, so this is ready um, to... Uh, send up rockets. I mean, it will be as soon as we get all the rocket sections. I don't even know how we're doing on rocket sections. Looks like we're looks like we're out of barrel. Uh, let's see. How are rocket sections coming? Yeah, we're okay. Looks like we're missing a bunch of barrel. Uh, let me double check Calidus asteroid belts. How? How am I short on rocket fuel? Dude, I have been sending so much extra rocket fuel here. It is absolutely insane. I think I'm doing my math wrong somewhere. Um, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. I, I uh, have fixed this problem, I thought, by sending, like, so if we look here, you can see L, which is coming from, it should be coming from the Callus asteroid belt. Asteroid belt one, yeah, yeah. Uh, asteroid belt one, yep. And it is connected up to the cargo rocket silo, okay. And so if I'm checking my signals, this one, L, L divided by 50, yeah, has 659. Bro, what am I doing wrong here? This has 1.1 thousand rocket fuel in here. It hypothetically should be enough. But maybe what's happening is I'm not sending enough to finish off um, one rocket. And so by the time the second rocket gets ready, it's not, it's not enough, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a ton of rocket fuel. All right, let's see, that's at 1.3 thousand. I'm gonna pick up even more. And I'm probably sending too much. Oops, uh, not that, all this. Uh, let's see, so that's 1.5 thousand. We only need 650 realistically for one rocket to be launched. I'm gonna send this and hopefully that will send our other rocket back and be enough to send this one back as well. I'm hoping. Um, so that's that. And uh, yeah, I thought I fixed this issue. Um, yeah, I also fixed a couple other issues on Saturday on stream. If you would like to watch that, I will link the, um, the VOD in the description uh, below. Um, I basically just did a bunch of smaller things um, throughout the base, uh, some optimizations, fixing some Vulcanite, things like that. Um, all right, but I think we're ready to head up to space again. Um, this rocket is not super full. Um, and even though there's some rocket parts in this uh, station, I think that will be good to go up in this rocket. So let's head up and on our way up, as always, I'm gonna grab some coffee. Got to get the morning started right with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So here we are. <clears throat> um, I do still need to set up a um, a train to deal with all of these rocket parts and silos. Uh, so maybe we can do that as well, uh, depending on uh, what's up, depending on how much stuff we can get done. But in any case, we're going to go grab some 
We're gonna go grab some scaffolding. Hopefully we have enough. Okay, we definitely have a decent amount of scaffolding, um, which is a good start. We got quite a bit here. And um, as you can see, I built out um, another section of grid over here. I still don't know what happened to my blueprints. I think it had to do with the fact that I was messing with some Factorio versions. And uh, I think that screwed things up. So I have to, uh, I'm gonna look for some local backups maybe of my blueprints. Um, if you know about how, how to recover blueprints, uh, it'd be awesome if you could comment that down below. Uh, just let me know if you've had issues with that before and how you've solved it. Um, because I am missing all of my blueprints, uh, which kind of freaking stinks because um, I had quite a few blueprints in there. Um, okay, so this is gonna be obviously, as I said before, for our astronomic science. Um, we are gonna need um, a handful of uh, train stations. So the first train station, uh, let's see. Uh, I think we basically just need cold thermal fluid. Um, and then like a junk data card, a junk data card pickup, which we still need to do that. We still need to deal with the junk data cards, but that's fine. Um, we'll deal we'll deal with it as part of this science. Um, why do I have so many electric mining drills? I must have forgot them in my inventory. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, oh, I have a landing pad. So let's actually put this landing pad down and we can actually deal with signaling as well. So let's do this. Um, we're gonna copy this. And obviously we're gonna get rid of some of the belts and things like that and change the filters. But this is a good start, I think. Uh, buttons, I'm just like pressing way too many buttons. Okay, here we go. And we'll, we'll put this like pretty close to the center. All right, fix that, and then let our bots build everything else for us. And of course, I don't have a signal transmitter. Classic, I always forget something. Uh, let's see. I think that we can probably get rid of this one. Okay, those are real. I couldn't remember. Uh, can I can I craft one right now? Please tell me I can. No, I can't. Batteries. Shoot! Um, I don't know if I even have signal transmitters coming up. I definitely don't have batteries coming up because they're not used for anything up here. <laughs> wow, we can look up signal classic. Not bringing them up. That kind of stinks uh, that I forgot that, but whatever, it's not the end of the world. Um, we'll figure that out shortly. Um, okay, I also of course forgot like a bunch of pipes and stuff down on the ground that and pylons and things, but such is life. Um, okay, this is gonna change. Uh, obviously, we're gonna change all of these. So let's get rid of all these signals. And ooh, I actually just realized that this is messed up down here. Uh, we did not have this connected up, so it's probably sending up way too much steel and lube and stuff. Uh, whoops. Didn't notice that. Um, okay. So let's connect that up. Um, what else? I think that this is good. a good start. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do um, some train stations for cold thermal fluid. Yeah. Yeah, cold thermal fluid, etc. All right, uh, that looks good. Uh, let's see, where should we put this train station? So I figure we can put like, and this is close-ish to the center, but not exactly in the center. Um, I figure, well, let's see, we can put this right over here, I think. And the reason being is and I'm trying to figure out how exactly how I want to lay out these grids. I think I can fit all four science levels within one square. Surely I can. Um, you, would, you would at least think that I can. Um, although I don't know that I'm going to be able to get two per second in that grid. So like if we look at um, like let's say ash, <laughs> astronomic science. Uh, let's see. And we do this. I'm going to put... Oh, 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 whoops. Two, 
Oh wait, uh, 120, which is two per second, which is what I've uh, been trying to do for all my levels. Uh, but we may not be able to do that much here. Uh, I'm I'm expecting that these are going to be relatively expensive, and that there's just no way we can um, support this. So we'll see. Like, okay, <clears throat> this doesn't look too bad. Let's see. 1.2 thousand barrel per minute. That's pretty expensive. Uh, 1,200 arrow for rain poles per minute, which is more barrel. 600 scaffold per minute. 150 bulkheads per minute. And 2.5 thousand uh, cold thermal fluid per minute. Okay, very expensive, obviously. Um, especially because we're going to have to make several of these. So if we look at this, 10 research servers. And even if we module these, right? Um, and beacon them. Uh, one. Uh, even if we mod... Okay, so three research servers working full speed. But then, like, these... Uh, oops. Not that. Um, you know, looking at all these... I want to copy this, copy this. Okay, that actually doesn't look so bad, but then if you get into these, I think that these are going to be um, pretty rough in terms of numbers. Yeah, look at that. 30 telescopes each, and if they're speed moduled and beaconed, 9 telescopes, 9 telescopes. Oh, and we're up to 18,000 cold thermal fluid a minute. Nice. Yeah, I don't think there's literally any way that we can build this out. There's way too much stuff needed. And I think it's probably being a little bit greedy to say that we can get two per second. Obviously, I built out the others at two per second, but the others are way less expensive than these. And this is just for astronomic. Like, and this, it's not even including all these extra catalogs and stuff like that. Like, these need <laughs> these need more of these. Um, yeah, shoot, like. I think these numbers are going to get absolutely insane. This one doesn't look so bad, but again, you know, we, we've got some crazy thermal fluid numbers here. Um, a lot of blank observation frames, which are super expensive at the moment. Um, not too many blank data cards, but again, we haven't even, you know, gone with all these catalogs and stuff, and that's not even to mention significant data. Um, so. I don't think that's going to be possible. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to work on figuring out some numbers that seem reasonable for astronomic science. Maybe even like, <laughs> maybe even like a third of this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to figure out some numbers for this and uh, then we shall continue uh, once I have figured out all the uh, numbers and math and things. So I will be right back from that. All right, guys. So I have uh, figured out a few numbers. I haven't dealt with um, all the rest of these um, catalogs yet. Uh, so we have yet to see, you know, the exact numbers on these thermal fluid. I mean, the thermal fluid requirements are still absolutely nuts. These um, telescopes take quite a bit of thermal fluid. Um, <laughs> so what I'm actually thinking almost is, you know, we're gonna start building this stuff out for sure. That being said, what we may end up doing is devoting um, an entire grid to just doing thermal fluid cooling, uh, depending on how much we need. I I don't think I built out this in much infrastructure last time, um, and I'm honestly not fully sure the f total output that this could output. In my brain, though, this is never going to be enough. Um, so we'll we'll have to see. Um, and if it does, you know, if it does come down to it where we need a whole uh, grid for just cooling. It's fine. Um, but we'll, we'll tackle that later. Uh, when it actually, when the need actually comes up, not now. Um, because there's no, there's no reason to, um, you know, try and build that out now when we aren't even fully sure that, sorry, that's a little bit loud, but, um, when we're not even fully sure that, you know, exactly how this is all going to go. I've never done um, a grid like this before, really, to be honest. Um, so I'm kind of learning, you know, what's, uh, best practices and things like that. Um, so I, I can't say, you know, oh, this is going to be exactly perfect or anything like that. that is, 
That was like no scaffolding, or it felt like no scaffolding. Um, shoot. Well, that is um, unfortunate. Uh, so, we'll build out what we can. Um, I'm not expecting too much right now. Uh, let's grab a handful of resources here. I'm going to go see if there's any scaffolding um, in this base over here because it's been um, running a while and I haven't checked in on it. So there may be resources that I don't know about. Um, then we can work on getting some requests up and uh, going from there. So let's see. Uh, scaffolding, nice. Another 20, uh, 2200 in scaffolding. Um, not perfect, but it'll help for sure. How is our, okay, our robot count is doing great here. No issues. Um, also, how are we doing on power? Uh, let's see. Okay, we're jumping up a lot whenever the particle accelerator is working because that thing takes like 500 megawatts on its own. Um, but whenever it's not working, we're definitely fine. Um, obviously, none of this stuff is running really yet um, at full speed. So <clears throat> we are going to be good. Um, also, I should have grabbed rails while I was over there, but I'm an idiot and I forgot. Um, so I'll just have to go back in just a minute. However, um, and I also don't really have any buildings, um, and I, <laughs> and I need more other stuff too. Uh, but let's build this out into the corner, I think. And I think I like starting to build uh, from like the edge right in the corner, uh, simply because then um, I'm not trying to uh, build from the center out, and I won't know how far I can get. I'm building from the out in, and so I know that I've built as close to the corner as I possibly could. Um, therefore, I'm, in my mind at least, I'm saving, or I'm at least using space um, as wisely as possible. Um, so let's go grab a few things. Um, we are gonna need a bunch of telescopes. How many telescopes are we gonna need? Seven, 14, 21 telescopes. Okay, cool. Not too bad. Um, let us see, telescopes. Multispectral mirrors, assembly machines, glass, and low densities. <clears throat> we do not have the multispectral mirrors yet, over here at least. Um, so let's go grab those from our old base. We Obviously, we're making them over here um, for our energy. So right down here, we should have some multispectral mirrors. Let's just grab two stacks. Should be plenty, um, I think, right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely enough. Um, and we are gonna need more telescopes in the future, but I don't think so many that we uh, should have a building specifically for uh, telescopes. I think that's maybe a little bit um, ridiculous. So let's see, can we fit? These things are so giant, dude. You can't fit them anywhere. Uh, let's see, can we fit one right over here and do some, yeah, yeah, we can fit one right over here. I just need to build a handful of things. Um, all right, so telescopes. Uh, we need we need some low densities and we need some of these. So let's grab these and let's grab low densities. Uh, probably a bunch, I don't know. Um, but we need 21 um, telescopes again. So let's just build these. We're gonna run out of stuff. <laughs> that Oh, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I thought I used all the low densities I just grabbed. Holy cow. Okay, I didn't. Obviously, there's still a bunch in here. Uh, but I did use all the glass. Uh, let's grab... I think I have glass somewhere here. Yeah, glass is right over here. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to get the 21 telescopes that we need. Um, how many do we have? Four. That's five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, that is that is all the um, low densities that I had. So of course, let's go grab more. Low densities always go quickly whenever we're building any buildings up here, which is pretty nuts. Um, okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16. 17, 18, 19. We just need one more. That is, oh, just kidding. We need one more. There we go, that's 21. That is 21. Um, 
All right, so we've got all of our telescopes. Um, let's see, we need one space manufactory for making observation frames. Cool, that's easy. Um, we've already got that in our inventory. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine astrometrics facilities. Um, one laser facility, one gravimetrics, one laser, uh, two gravimetrics facilities, and then let's see, uh, two. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna say six research servers, although they will definitely not be working anywhere near full speed. All three of them. Um, so that's, that's fine. Um, you know, there'll always be room for a little bit of expansion in terms of modules then. Um, you know, if we can speed the buildings up, we can create a, maybe a little bit more than the 40 per second that I've, or 40 per minute that I've gone for. Um, now I will say we actually are going to do both, um, Astro one and Astro two right now, because if we do Astro 1 and Astro 2, um, we need to do this, um, oops. We need to do this multispectral astrometric analysis. And if you do it with um, one recipe, it takes a, oh no, what is going on? I feel like I'm gonna have to go deal with this probably. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go deal with this, all right. I will be right back guys. Alrighty guys, so I figured out, or well, I fixed the issue there. There was, and <laughs> there's still some buildings I need to rebuild over there, but it's not the end of the world right now. I'll fix that later. Um, but I grabbed the stuff down here that I still had um, from an old warehouse that um, I was looking at. And let me just check out, uh, I of course I probably didn't power this, did I? Yep, nope, classic. Otherwise I could have like, you know, fixed this and then gone up with it. Um, but that's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, so I think we can go up with this one. Uh, so we're gonna head up with this. Um, and uh, this will also help us build up our scaffold and whatnot. I also think that this number needs to change. I think this needs to be more like 200. Otherwise it just never goes. Okay, here we are back up here in space. And let's see. All right, so everything here is gonna start working again. Um, I was gonna need the astrometrics facilities, but I think that what we can do um, is we can work on actually requesting stuff I feel like I keep getting sidetracked this episode. Um, there's a lot of things to do, and my bases honestly all kind of have issues right now. Um, I spent a long time trying to fix them, um, just like production issues and whatnot, like for, um, and I freaking forgot this signal transmitter again. Oh my gosh. Classic. Um, okay, that's fine, it's fine. Um, just have to, you know, deal with the issues for now. Um, Okay, here we go. All right, uh, so I suppose even though we don't have the signal transmitter, we can set the requests for this. Let's get rid of all these. All right, uh, so what do we need here? Um, let's look at factory planner. What do we need coming from the surface here, right? Obviously blank data cards, they're done up here. Um, oh, we need these as well. Forgot about these. Okay. All right, so this is, let's see, more, oh, this is super cool thermal fluid, which you don't have any of yet. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. Um, but what I was saying before, before I got rudely interrupted by biters, is this multispectral astrometric analysis has two different recipes. One is the one that we're doing right now, and you only get three out of it um, with uh, visible infrared and UV. However, um, if you add in microwave and x-ray, you actually get 10 out of it. 
Um, so we definitely want to use the more um, efficient version, uh, but that means that we're also going to, of course, have to be making X-ray and microwave observation data, uh, which now, of course, requires super cool thermal fluid, which I suppose I will have to deal with here shortly. Um, this one, why is this? This probably needs, uh, this probably has like a very low success rate, doesn't it? That's probably why it needs 376 and this only needs 166. Let's take a look. No, I don't know. Yeah, not sure. This one gets 12 out. This one is just one to one. I'm not sure, but clearly takes a lot more thermal fluid because for four thermal fluid, you get 12 and for uh, five thermal fluid, you get one. So yeah, that's that thermal fluid there cost is pretty expensive. Um, but what I was going to say is, let's see, we need beryllium plates, arrow frame, poles and scaffold and bulkhead. Obviously we can't make um, scaffold or bulkhead yet, but we can do poles. Now the question is, do we do the poles up here? Iron sticks, beryllium plates. No, I think that we send the poles up because um, we can use productivity modules probably on them. But it, yeah, we can use prod mods on them down on novice. And so I think that it's probably worth it to save us um, beryllium plates. What we could do to save space on the rocket, because obviously the rocket is going to be filled with, um, well, hold up, blank observation frames. Let's move this down. Okay, so the rocket is going to be filled with light oil barrels, right? Uh, ooh, we need to make multispectral mirrors too. Shoot, man. Uh, all right. <laughs> this is definitely getting more complicated. Um, chemical gel we can ship over here. Lubricant. So it's going to be filled with light oil barrels, lubricant barrels. It's going to be filled with iridium plates. Low density structures, glass, coal, beryllium, arrow frame, arrow frame scaffold, arrow frame bulkhead. And then if there are any other items with this research or this research that we're going to need to add, it needs to be able to carry all of those as well. So that's quite a lot um, of stuff. So what we can do is we can actually ship up beryllium ingots. Um, unfortunately, I'm turning all of my uh, ingots into plates right now, but we can uh, add some logic to prevent that. And we can send up all um, beryllium ingots to save space. Um, I think we can save space anyways. I think they stack in 50s. So that's like 500 plates, which otherwise would be five stacks instead of one. And we can do the same for iridium plates. We can send up ingots um, instead of plates. So that's gonna be super helpful in um, saving space Aeroframe poles, obviously, we're kind of straight out of luck um, when doing that. Now, this is per minute that we need this many. Um, and I figure that we can send one rocket every, uh, let's see, five, let's say one rocket every four minutes, okay? So we're gonna need 2,500, uh, 2,600 aeroframe poles. So let's put that in. And this is kind of how I do this math. Um, 2,600 airframe poles, and I really haven't done it very well in the past, I don't think. Um, so beryllium plates, we need um, 4,000, 4,082, which is the equivalent of 409 times four, which is 1,280 ingots. That's, geez Louise. Okay. I don't think that there is any way, wait, no. Not 1,280 ingots, 1,280 plates, which is 128 ingots. My bad, my bad. Um, is that right? 128 ingots, no. I, <laughs> I cannot do math, what the heck? Okay, so we need this, right? Which is 100, 108 ingots times four, 408 ingots. Okay, or 430 ingots, let's say. 430 ingots, no way that we can keep up with this right now. Um, Barrel is definitely not fast enough, so we're going to have to increase barrel production for this. Um, let's see. We need to do this. Okay, so we only need like, let's see, 
14 times four. Um, so we're gonna need, you know, 60 ish, but we'll just say a hundred um, low densities. We're gonna need, um, this is one and a half stacks of iridium ingots. So let's do that. Um, iridium ingots. We're gonna do 20, we'll do, we'll do 40, which is um, two stacks of iridium ingots. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a thousand glass a minute, um, a little bit more. So we'll do 1100 glass or 1200 glass, let's say. Uh, same with coal, 1200 coal. All right, and then um, what else? That's everything except for the fluids. So we're, we're just gonna need like 50 lube, uh, 50, we'll say 50 lube barrels. Um, the light oil though is gonna be a problem. 2,500 light oil a minute. I think we might send that up um, via item cannon because that's just almost way too many, honestly. I think that that's too many um, for us to handle in barrels because 2,400 lube in barrels is 250 barrels. And if we do that, that's a thousand barrels. That's like a hundred, uh, we can do it. Okay, we can do it. So we need like a thousand light oil barrels. Okay. All right, cool. And then we'll just have to ship in chemical gel, blank data cards, so on and so forth. All right, so then we can get to um, actually setting up some buildings. All right, guys, let us get cracking on some uh, telescopes here. So we got 21 telescopes. It's gonna be seven for each of the different um, items. And where the heck, maybe we'll like line it up like right here. All right, so that's a telescope. Uh, let me double check. Um, Right, it is seven for each, right? Six, da, da, da. okay, yeah, seven. Um, that being said, we do need to, we're probably gonna do something s similar to this. Yeah, yeah, we can just do this. I mean, what is wrong with this, honestly? Right? Okay, uh, obviously we need to move this a little bit. Um, there we go, that looks good. All right, so that is, this does not reach all of them. Okay, cool. Uh, so we need to obviously reach all of them if we can. Uh, let's quickly get rid of these and then we'll build around it. So we got one here and actually let's, uh, so this is how many, one, two, three, four, five. We need two more on the end here. There we go. All right, let's just uh, pick all this stuff up here. Um, and then we're gonna uh, put down our beacons first. And how should we do this? It needs to be offset by one so that this telescope can export, right? That hits four and then that'll do the rest. Okay, great. So uh, let's see, do I have, I have no modules, nice. Okay, not sure why I don't have, have any, but that's fine. Um, okay. And then obviously we need some long-handed inserters. We can do export in here, here, here here and here, and then we'll have one, two, three drop on the near side, and these four will drop on the far side, that seems fine. And then we'll just go right down here like that, boom. All right, that is that. All right, obviously though, uh, we're gonna have to do this three different times, and the one issue with that is, um, we don't have enough pipes and stuff like that, but whatever. Uh, we'll just blueprint it out. There we go. All blueprinted. So those are all of our telescopes. Um, we do have to change the recipes on all the rest of these. So these will do visible. And these will do UV. Very cool. Okay. So that is everything that we need for telescopes. Now feeding into the telescopes, we need... Um, UV observation frames, and we're gonna need 2.4 thousand of those per minute, which it, pff, it's quite a lot, honestly. Uh, it's all actually almost 2,500 um, a minute. Um, 
thankfully this, well, this is for this, so that's something different, but uh, this, uh, we're gonna need beryllium, glass, coal, and obviously light oil, okay. Uh, let's see, and this, we can do in one building if we uh, beacon and module it. Um, so we'll do it in one building. Uh, let us though, maybe we should lay out this X-ray telescope and the microwave uh, telescopes because they all have blank observation frames that go into them. Although let's let's just double check. I mean, it probably is the case that all the other ones have, oh, I probably can't see it here, can I? Uh, if we go into here, go into, astronomic like if we look at these catalogs these probably all take different observation frames don't they um yes possibly yeah like those radio observation frames surely those take um yeah so those take blank observation frames so uh we're gonna have to make more observation frames in the future than this which means that we, well, you know what? We're just gonna build it for what we have now and call it good. And then obviously we'll just have to expand it later. Um, we'll put this down here though, and we'll make it so that like we could expand going this direction possibly with like two or three more buildings if needed. Um, and this is gonna do the blank observation frames. And then let's see, we uh, are a little bit out of belts. Maybe we should go grab some belts and things. Uh, so what do we need? Belts. Um, we're going to need some astrometric facilities. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably should grab half of those-ish. Um, can grab a bunch of belts. And probably should make some astrometric facilities while we are over here. I think I need another um, space manufacturing for those. Do I need a space manufacturing for anything else? I'm gonna need one for this. I'm gonna need to grab a metrics facility. I'm gonna need some research servers and X-ray telescope and six microwave telescopes. Okay, so let's grab and yeah. So I need just the one um, space manufacturing. Nice. Again, can't fit there, unfortunately. Um, possibly we can grab. Yeah, let's just grab some scaffold to fill this out a little bit so we can fit one here. Can almost fit there anyways, but it's very close. There we go. Just one square off. Okay, so this needs, we need six of these. What the heck do these take? Aeroframe poles, shoot. Um, we're not really making any aeroframe poles currently. Probably should start doing that. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on this for the moment. Also, I don't have any steel beams. Oh, I might have steel beams in my other base. We'll grab that in just a second. Let's see if we can make these. Missing low densities, classic. Classic. All right, um, I don't even know how many of these I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine astrometric facilities. Okay, let's see how many we can get. We're at three, that's five out of red chips completely. Um, what else does this need? Big electric motors. Let's grab some big electric motors though so that they get sent up. And let's also grab some blue chips so those get sent up. Um, and then also some more low densities so that those also get sent up. Okay, uh, let's see, we have five though. That should be enough to start, I think. Okay. And let me just double check where this rocket is at in terms of what it needs. Uh, no requests, it's just not full enough. Hmm. What else can we request that we need up here? Um, um, Okay, we definitely do still have heat shielding up here because it's being used. Let's just double check here. 314 heat shielding. How many am I requesting? 1.5 thousand. So I think that some of these numbers probably need to be bigger because 
we are just taking forever to fill that rocket up to a level that it's needed. Let's actually increase red chip count to like 3,500, so another thousand. And let me double check my red chip production. Oh, what are we waiting on? Oh, um, our red chip production is all maxed out. Nice. Okay. So we do have some Vulcanite, which is good. Okay, we don't have any Vulcanite. <laughs> All right. Um, I thought we were going to have a little bit of Vulcanite, but we have none. Let me just check on that as well. You know, you got you to gotta keep up on what's going on. Okay, why do we have no Vulcanite? We have 5.8 thousand Vulcanite. And this is very, very slowly loading more Vulcanite. Okay. Although it is coming in right now, which is the good news. Um, but only enough to fill up these two belts, which is unfortunate. Uh, we're definitely going to have to beef up Vulcanite production here very shortly. Not yet, but very, very shortly here. Um, all right, so all that to say is um, I'm not sure what else we can add to this. We may just request the rocket to come up. And you know what? Um, we may actually just make this number even larger. Let's say like 4,500. I mean, why not? Right, our red chips were backed up there. Might as well request it. Um, in the meantime, we can get going with the gravimetrics facilities that we do have in any case. Um, we need, so for this first three, which we have built out, right, we just need three. So that's fine. There we go. Um, I do need these pipes still, but that's fine. We still have to figure out where we're bringing all the different things in and whatnot. Um, I guess I'm out of space rails, whatever, that's fine. Okay, uh, so we have belts. All right, let's come back over here. Um, we are going to need... Mm -hmm. uh, we're not requesting steel at all, are we? Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, the only reason I was thinking is, you know, what are we going to do with all the freaking barrels that we're going to have? Which means that we're going to have to export them somehow. We probably should export them with a recycling facility. Um, so we'll probably end up doing that because, um, and I can't, why can I not find, did I really get rid of all of my buildings? Whatever. We'll handcraft one, that's fine. Um, okay, so... Let's do, honestly, we probably need all of these doing light oil barrels, I would guess. And especially because we're gonna need even more in the future, we'll probably have to like share a rocket with a, uh, with a uh, item cannon. Um, let's see. Yeah, we just need one building doing it, but it's still a lot, um, okay. So this can go, no, let's let's back it up a little bit just in case we need more machines in the future. Um, and let's see, we have stack inserter, which is gonna be coming from here uh, with light oil barrels. And actually, you know what? Screw the stack inserter, we just need to do this. Um, that's gonna be way more efficient and it's not gonna, run into any issues, I don't think. Um, so this is gonna do empty light oil barrel, very good. Um, this is gonna have to be beacon and moduled, obviously but we don't have them at the moment. So we'll figure that out here. This just be like right here, I guess. So if we have more buildings, like I said, in the future, that'll go towards those. Okay. Um, very good. And then we need um, beryllium, glass, and coal, which we can do here. Right, so coal, glass, oops, coal, glass, and a barrel, a beryllium plate. And we'll do them all out here. Let's see. Glass, and coal, and Beryllium, there we go. 
And again, I think I'm gonna say screw the inserters and just do loaders because loaders are way cooler and way more efficient. Um, there we go. That is space manufacturing for um, for our blank observation frames. Now, obviously, we should definitely do um, a space loader out of this, and probably even let's do three. Let's do three out. And it doesn't have any byproducts, which is nice. Um, the reason we'll do three, and actually we'll probably do five. And the reason we're gonna do five is we have one, two, three, four, five that require, well, one, two, three, four, five that require um, blank observation frames. I am realizing uh, more and more that we're going to actually need way more stations than I think that this kind of station can accommodate. It's almost like we're going to have to do a little inlet with like a bunch of stations and then go back out. <sighs> Which I may start adopting with this um, square here. It it'll be similar-ish to this except there will be like a little area to come in. There will be a bunch of stations and then one out. Um, as much as I like this kind of station, I just can't fit enough in. Like I could only fit one, two, three stations, six... Nine. I can only fit maybe 12, maybe 12 stations. And that's if I don't build anything like this, um, which really restricts the space. So obviously having a bunch of stations coming in like that would really restrict the space, but it would also, um, you know, give us all of this room over here without taking away, you know, all this space as well. So I think that we're probably gonna have to do that in the uh, probably next episode, I would say. Uh, but in any case, let us set this up and love that feature. Um, here we go, this is belt two. And we have one more belt, which is this one here. Honestly, bots make things like a million times easier. Um, okay, so that is those three. Um, what do I need? Well, okay. <sighs> that is those three, but the uh, next thing is that, and you know what? These belts are cool, and they look nice because they're straight, but it takes up a lot of room that I would really rather uh, not take up at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak down here and do it like this. Um, this is going to save us a bunch of room um, because we do need that room because over here, I think that we'll do the three different um, cards, right? So this one, this one, and this one. Uh, which means we're gonna need those blank data cards over here, which is fine. Um, okay, it's literally gonna be like this. One, two, three. Let me pick these up. I don't know what those are doing there. And yeah, I think I am gonna pick this uh, station up. Sorry, station, goodbye. That's fine. Um, don't have any more loaders. I think I'll be okay though with the stack inserter, probably, hopefully. Okay. Stack inserter, stack inserter, and another stack inserter, there we go. <clears throat> and then this, let's see, which one is this? hard to tell. UV. This one is the visible, I believe. Yep, visible. This one is infrared. Okay, great. So uh, obviously we still need to bring in uh, blank data cards and whatnot, but that is that. Um, we do need to power all this stuff. Maybe I should do one of these. Some substations in here just power everything without even trying <clears throat> which is super nice of course and they make a nice little grid too um, and then we should put one of these let's, let's uh, power up the jetpack here these need to be like along the side here okay um, so that's everything powered then and I think that that is where we're gonna have to call it for today. Obviously, um, did not finish this off quite yet. 
But um, next episode, we'll be able to get these stations in here, drop off all of the uh, cool cold, and yeah, then we're going to also have to do... Actually, we don't need cool. We just need cold. Um, but we're going to have to drop off cold thermal fluid, and then we're also going to have to work on actually doing um, super cool thermal fluid. And uh, we're going to have to work on getting chemical gel and all sorts of stuff. We actually have even more like groundwork that I didn't realize was not done uh, yet to do. Um, we also are gonna have to still do um, blank data card or junk data card processing over here, which is fine. Uh, not really too worried about that. We also are still going to need yet another uh, square that is not for science, but is for, um, what's it for? Um, it's gonna be for doing all the uh, simulations. So we're gonna have a whole square that um, does different simulations. So right now our best simulation is this astroparticle simulation, which takes 18 uh, astronomic and energy insight and makes six significant data like these, take 36 and make four. So it takes the same amount of insight technically, but it makes uh, two extra significant data. And we'll continue to get better and better simulations. And um, once we have the simulation that does all four, that's obviously the best but we have a little bit of ways to go before we get there. Um, so thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you guys are looking forward to actually starting this base up and running. I know I am. We still have a little bit of work to get there, but it is honestly getting very close and I am very excited about it. So I will see you all on the next episode where we continue working on it.